All right, ladies, I am back and I fixed my lights. So now hopefully you guys can see me. Um, so now we're going to start talking about arousal and we're going to start talking about enhancement creams and lubrication. So if you are watching this and there's little busy bodies around, just uh, go ahead and pause my video and then wait so you can watch this without um, those little, the little babies around, okay? So um, let's start off with um, another bestseller, which is RO um, Enhancement Cream. So let's talk a little bit about desire uh, versus arousal okay desire is entirely in your head it's mental right it's like ooh la la like that type of thing and then arousal is physical sometimes our bodies just aren't parallel with our desire and our arousal whether it be medication whether it be stress like everyday life like sometimes you just cannot get aroused and that's what happens with the libido and some women their libido takes a vacation never comes back and that's okay it is okay like don't feel ashamed or bad for that happening like we're women i think we're just always going to take the brunt of how everyone is feeling emotionally um, and we get more stressed out in my opinion just because i feel like um, especially as mothers and as women that's that's just kind of what we do by nature and so with that our libidos can take a hike and then it's just very very hard um, to get back into that type of mood even if like I said the desire is there the arousal may not be so that's where O is going to come into place I call this tingle in a tube O is a really really neat product so what you're going to do with O is you're going to take a pinky tip dab, you guys, a pinky, pinky tip dab. Do not use more than that. You're just going to take the pinky tip dab of it and you're going to just place it right on the top of your clitoris and it's like tingle in a tube. It's going to be like kind of like a cool tingling sensation and you're going to, it's going to awaken you. You're going to be like, oh yeah, now you're feeling it, right? So, I mean let's say that you just got out of the shower, you've wrapped your hair up, you're ready to lay down, you're ready to relax for the evening, and then you get the text. And it's like the little winky faces, I'm on my way home. And you're like, oh no, like you're just not into it, right? Grab a little pinky tip dab, you're gonna be good to go. This actually is also gonna be unisex. So you can use this for partner play, you can use this on him as well same thing just a pinky tip dab and you can actually put this on his aperineum which is the about one inch fleshy area in between um, the anal opening and the scrotum um, so we call the perineum it's also known as taint uh, you put a little bit of a pinky tip dab there and it's going to sort of get the blood rushing to that system and what does that mean a harder erection yay so everyone wins right so that is O that comes in strawberry kiwi and vanilla frosting Okay, so now that we're aroused and we're ready, that doesn't necessarily mean that things are going to be all nice and wet and all wet all the time type of thing, right? Lubrication, ladies. The importance of lubrication, I cannot even tell you enough. I was one of those girls that was just like, no, you know, I, it's fine. I don't need that. I, whatever, you know. But let's just talk about penetration. It does not matter. It does not matter. I repeat does not matter how wet you are on the outside it is how wet you are on the inside that is what is going to get penetrated so when you are penetrated um, and it's going to cause friction and you have nothing there to sort of cushion uh, that friction going on right a cushion for the pushing um, it's going to tear um, tearing is not good you don't want tearing in your vagina ladies you just don't uh, tearing is going to open up that um, lining and it's going to open you up for infection for bacteria to grow and that's not good right and let's say you get past that right and that tearing then heals up now you have scar tissue what happens with scar tissue it heals and you lose nerve um, sensation nobody wants to lose nerve sensation in their vaginas ladies okay so this is just like me this is our water-based lubricant it is amazing you guys this is actually going to feel very natural it's going to feel like your own moisture what um, you can actually do with this is it's going to dry out and that's totally fine you can put it on ahead of time once it dries out and then it's if it's met with a, just a slight amount 
of moisture, um, it's going to reactivate. Yes, reactivate. So once it dries out, it's gonna go ahead and reactivate, and I call it the foyer lubricant, because like I said, you can put it on ahead of time for date night, and you don't even have to make it upstairs to go get your lube. You put it on ahead of time, you can get it on right there in the foyer. Okay, so this is just like me, ladies, and uh, this is our water-based lubricant. Just like me is on page 19. Once again, I forgot to tell you the pages. And um, O is 18. O is 18, just like me is page 19. Okay, next, so uh, we do have different types of lubricants for different types of places for different types of um, activities that you're going to be doing. So this is um, whipped and this is our 25th anniversary um, edition. So this is an emollient lubricant. So this is going to be for the dudes, right? So dudes are like sponges. They suck the life out of us, right? Like not even, I mean, I'm talking literally, they will actually legitimately suck the moisture out of you because they are like sponges. So this emollient um, lubricant whipped, um, it just, it basically means that it's creamier. So it can be absorbed a little slower for the dude. And this actually, we're gonna, it's gonna come into play later on our live and I'll show you um, how fun this can be. But this is, um, this is in the uh, flavor birthday cake for our 25th anniversary. I do not have a lot of this flavor left, but there's tons of other flavors. Um, to choose from. So this is whipped. Whipped is on page. That's another one I don't have written down. It's going to be the same. Oh, just it's the same page. It's just like me. Page 19. Duh, Nikki. Duh. Okay. Um, next, we are going to go ahead with Great Head. Great Head is page 18. Um, so this is going to help you with oral favors, right? So anybody with a gag reflex, this is an amazing product. I actually, at live um, parties, I usually ask for a volunteer to come up that has a bad gag reflect. I'll ask her to gag herself. And then after she puts a tiny pea-sized amount of this on her tongue, hold it to the roof of her mouth, swallow. It's actually gonna coat your throat and sort of numb it a little bit. And then I make them redo it. And I am not kidding, they are amazed at how their gag reflex just goes away. It is just like that. And everybody in the room's like, oh my God, oh my God. And it really does. It works so, so well. So this is Great Head. Great Head is page 18. Um, they just came out with a new flavor of this, um, Green Apple. It tastes like a, um, a green uh, Jolly Rancher, you guys. It is delicious. Um, so um, again, a, just a tiny amount. So you don't need a lot of any of this stuff. A little will do you, a little will go a long way. Next we have Sensations, which is our warming lubricant. I kind of tend to like this more in the massage foreplay area um, because this is an external lubricant. So we're not gonna use this internally uh, because it is a warming lubricant, but it's super, super fun for like partner play. Um, you can squirt a little. Um, what I would do is get yourself a blindfold, squirt this in six places on your body and you tell your partner, you find the seven spots on my body that has this. Did you get that? I said seven, but you only put it in six places. <laughs> um, so this is going to warm, right? So once you put it on, you can give it a little like that and it the sensation, it starts to warm. It feels so good and it is lickable, kissable, edible, and it, it tastes so good. This one is in cotton candy. They taste really, really good, you guys. So that is sensations and that is also, um, uh, the same page with all of the lubricants, so uh, page 19. Okay, so that is all I have right now for the lubricants. I only show the best of the lubricants. Let me know um, if you have any questions about those. And you guys, if you need more than one lubricant, that's okay. I mean, that's completely normal. So don't think that just because you need more than one that something's wrong or, you know, people don't do that. Yes, people have a lot, lots of different kinds for different things, like I said. So um, uh, take a look at those in your catalog. Shoot me over some questions if you have any, and I will see you for the next video.